What's up, nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all? To your buddy Big John the Dream and Two Gun Picture presents Legendary Gaming! <laughs> Alright, so uh, I got one of my Kickstarter backer games in. It came in today. Woo! Really lucky. I was glad to be home to get that. That was a happy happenstance. But uh, like it when the universe brings things, brings things together, don't you? All right, now, uh, pardon me there. When, uh, you know Anthony, you've been watching him in the videos. Well, I've known him since he's a little kid, since he moved around the corner from me when he was about, I don't know, six or so. So he's been gaming with me for a long time. And one of the games that him and some other my, other of my old friends like Dennis loved was Boot Hill. Oh, we loved this role-playing game by TSR. This was great. It wasn't Dungeons and Dragons. This was this was gritty. This was real. This was tough. This was you know in in D and D you get wounded, you got a cleric to fix you, or maybe you found or, or, or in town you purchase some potions of healing ah now, you didn't have none of that in boot hill now you got shot in the arm good luck to keep that arm once they pulled the bullet out of you it was it was pretty hardcore it was it was one of the hardest games i've ever played to keep a character alive for any length of time and i still loved it it didn't matter to me the character after character was dying maybe it was because my generation saw the tail end of the Wild West, and uh, that sort of inspired some of us to to continue looking for that in the role-playing games. Board games, as far as I know, there wasn't really much. Maybe there was a Long Ranger board game or something uh, back in the in the seventies. I I don't know, but I do know that there are there are not enough Western-based, Old West, American Frontier West board games out there. There's a few. There's a few good ones. But there's not a lot. It's not a, a theme or a genre that's overly tapped like some others. Fantasy. <laughs> Zombie. Cthulhu. It's not overly tapped like that. So when this game came out on Kickstarter, <laughs> everything I saw about it blew my mind. I was like, whoa, this is, it's, it's based on real life Western legends. You know, like like Jesse James and Bat Masterson, Geronimo. I was like, wow, okay, so you, you get to play these characters. Annie Oakley isn't just someone that's walking around town you're going to meet. You, you're going to get a chance to play her. It's like, wow, okay. Okay, you, you pretty much got me right there. What else you got? And then it's a sandbox game where you have so many options. You want to mine, you want to ranch, you want to gamble, you want to be an outlaw, you want to be a lawman. Boom! That's how you get your legendary points, your victory points in this game. I was hooked, line, sinker. And I am so glad that it finally came. <laughs> and I usually do this on the other side. It doesn't feel right that way. Colossal Games, it, it, kind of, it was cracked and I took a peek, but nothing has been opened. I just had to take a peek. <laughs> so yeah, Colossal Games, Western Legends, Kickstarter edition. Yeah, so we're going to uh, unbox, unbox this game. And I am so excited for this. Oh, so many games, not enough time. I feel like Burgess Meredith on Twilight Zone. All right, my friends, I will see you down at the table. I like seeing games on table. Don't you, Foo? Yeah. Foo does not like to talk about this time period in America. He is not a big fan of that. But I will be needing this. Thank you very much, Foo. My buddy, my friend, my main man. Let's get this ready off to the side. Because, oh, I can't wait to take a look at this. And what if I do it this way, right? What if I do it this way? 
double check the focus looks good don't want to miss anything here okay oh yeah i'm so excited about this at first and i got hey, listen and he's 20 side warriors watching this i got dibs first game wired up yeah ah just finished watching tombstone this past weekend Ooh, oh everything's in two expand expansions are in here i thought they would be in here but no that's it for that oh wow ah yes uh, let's get this out of the way let's get this off and out of the way sometimes you have to repeat yourself oh <laughs> oh man i love that it says it right there it says it right there kickstarter edition two expansions included oh that is really cool i like the fact that that's that's actually right here in the oh i thought it was on the box it's like wah 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 it's on the it's on the wrapper well that would have been more expensive because then they have to pay for printing of separate things that's kind of like why i thought it was so cool but still um i thought the expansions were going to be were going to be separate so i'm glad the sticker is here otherwise i would have been questioning would have been questioning what i got since all right let's take a quick look at the back mm, nice the focus looks okay huh all right western legends is an open world sandbox tabletop adventure for two to six players set in the american wild west players assume the roles of historical figures of the era earning their legendary status in a variety of ways gambling drive cattle prospect for gold rob the bank fight bandits pursue stories become an outlaw keep the peace the possibilities are darn near endless yes i'm so happy all right now now i'm really curious to see how two boxes got put in here you know there's usually usually not enough room in the core boxes to fit the expansion boxes so i'm curious are there no expansion boxes i kind of wish there are but at the same time it'd be so nice uh, cut away from yourself at the same time it would be so nice if uh if it all did fit in here like this not take up the space on the shelf you know what i mean uh, this is this is a little heavy i have to admit that this is a little heavy definitely i know some of my older videos i would, I would drop the really heavy boxes on the table but yeah i'm not gonna be doing that <laughs> i don't want the camera flying all over the place but trust me the box would make the table bounce a little bit okay colossal games from the looks of everything colossal games did a fantastic job but looks can be deceiving my friends i'll we'll just have to wait until a couple of games are played before we make a final final uh, judgment call all right here we go ready ready Like the rule book. The rule book looks nice. Definitely does. Let's see. Ooh, thematically, it looks really fitting. I like the the color and the and the fade. Pardon me. Wow, that was sneaky. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I mean, you can't tell much from a quick glance through the rule book. And uh, I don't know any of the colossal games. This may be the first one. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But so I'm not sure how their rule books usually come out. You know, some companies, you know, there's going to be some going through it two or three times before you understand it. And other companies, you know, as soon as you read it, boom, it's all going to make sense. But anyway, it looks nice. There's a lot of pictures to help you out. And that's always good. Oh, the general store. The little uh, cardboard stand you're going to make that's going to put all the cards for the general store so when you go shopping uh, you'll just be able to take one out because the, the store only has 
so many cards and there's multiples of it so you can put like all the horse cards here you can put all the the rifle cards here so and this makes it really handy and nice uh easy to easy to set up and take apart and doesn't take as much room on the table so that that was a really nice touch i'm really glad oh nice <laughs> okay that answers my question let's take a look at the board first okay let's get this out of the way that answers my question did you see what i saw no yes no you will let's, let's take a look at this first okay this is definitely gonna be we we'll sitting the other way on my table but again look at it here you get the uh, the wanted track and the and the Marshall's track everything about this board like everything else i've been trying to do with this game looks thematically beautiful i mean right okay let's do it like this <laughs> right down to the to the coffee mug stain on the wanted track really nice the font Marshall track it's basically two towns of redfall Dark Rock, the train down here, you got cattle over here, this looks good, I like the board, they did a lot of, did a lot of nice work and it shows, it definitely shows, okay, now this is what I, uh, I noticed, did you notice this, so they did send the boxes, and we get to put them together, uh, you know what, that's cool with me, I'm good with that. It made shipping easier for them. I understand. So, hey, very cool. But looking at all the room in here, I'm quite sure that uh, that they may fit anyway. I'll tell you the truth. And here's the other one. So, so this one is a fistful of extras. And if you didn't notice, I didn't point out, I'm sorry. This is the good, the bad, and the handsome. See, I did get in the game. <laughs> Some extra bags, always nice. Love to see the extra bags. Thank you. Thank you, Colossal Games, for all the bags. Wow, that actually is a lot of bags. I thought, I thought my horrible singing would have been over before I collected all the bags, but it was not. Well, they're pulling out all over the place. That's cool. Obviously, they're going to be needed. And this is always uh, this is always a plus when the when the publishers do this. So thank you very much. Thank you, Colossal Games. Ah, the gold nuggets. See, I just uh, unboxed a, a game yesterday that had small gems in it, and I was pointing out that there's like this cookie cutter thing that all the all the companies use and i'm not putting it down i'm not mocking it i'm not you know shaking my finger at it or anything i was i was just pointing it out and uh, these gold nuggets it's very cool i think they could they could have looked a little more gold though i don't know i've, I've never i've never seen gold right out of the ground maybe, maybe that's the way it looks right out of the ground i i, I don't know but that doesn't look like gold that, that i uh doesn't really look the same. I don't know. But it, it, it looks good and it suggests it. So that's cool. That's cool. Could have gone with, a, you know, just a little cardboard token or chits. But they didn't. They didn't. They, they went this route. And I'm glad they did. So again, that's another, that's another thank you, Colossal Games. So here you go. The stands. You, you, you pick your color. And that's what the, the miniatures are going to go on. He goes an extra Native American, an extra uh, Indian, as they were incorrectly called during the time period. It's really nice. It's cool. We had a good Geronimo. Here go all the rest of them. This, this bag's going to be replaced.
And uh, you, you know what? I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy that focuses sometimes. There we go. I'm going to uh, I'm going to review these separately since they are separate expansions. So I'm going to keep them out to the side. And uh, here go. Here go some more minis. You go some more minis. I understand there's a couple of people out there that, that enjoy miniatures. So you might like seeing this. Nice. Hold her out there, partner. This town's not big enough for the both of us, I reckon. Yeah, I do voices sometimes. So... I nail anything at 500 yards. <laughs> God. Yeah. There goes my Annie Oakley. I mentioned her earlier. That's the only reason why I'm referencing it again. Yeah, nice. The two gun kid. from the sky cowboys are falling from the sky okay so that's like the same one so there are some duplicates this one isn't on the count of three draw a partner one two bang Bandit. I don't know. I don't know if that's a bandit or not. Oh, this is cool. Two cross pistols. Now, that's that's definitely a tough hombre. He's uh, you know he's got a little mask on. He's got his his scarf uh, around his face like a mask. There's a rustler. Just saying that because of the rope. There's another Native American. Might be a better Geronimo. Yeah, good job. I, I like these miniatures. You know, I was following the, you know, the notes that we're leaving uh, on the backer page for Kickstarter. So I, I was watching the process where these were being made. And man, they just looked so, they looked great. They really did. And here go uh, the prospecting dice. If you at any time decide to go mine, which you don't have to be a professional miner. You could go mine at any time. Uh, again, I feel like the gold color is off. What do you think? Just like the gold nuggets. I kind of think that could have been more gold. Dice are a little bit big. Gold and S again. I will S again. And I got more gold. I don't know what I what I just did. But I got two gold nuggets. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, cubes and counters. I don't really think I have to take this out of the bag. They're wood. They're cube. They're little circle cylinders. They're used for counters. Right? Okay. We're good on that, right? But now... Oh, these are the player boards. Of course, of course. Of course. Make a little instructions, as you see here, how to put together the general store. I also saw there's a video online to do that. 
player cheat sheets. Offhand, I, I gotta say, I wish these were cardboard instead of uh, this paper. It's gonna take a lot of damage. I see that it opens, oh, it doesn't even open up. So yeah, again, I, cost. I'm guessing it all comes down to cost, but I really wish these had been uh, cardboard. I, I'd feel safer if they were. So here go the player boards, one, two, three, four, five, and six player boards. Front and back seems to be the same. Am I missing something here? Besides getting that glare off for you guys? Huh. I don't think there's anything different. Am I missing something? I mean, each one is a little bit different, right? Maybe this one's for the man in black. That's why that's different. Because this is, uh, well, this is two to six. Oh, that's why. I'm a dummy. <laughs> so there you go, the six. And uh, the tokens, there isn't many of those. Which is good, less fiddly things on the table, right? An awful less fiddly things on the table. Oh, so some of these gain one gold nugget. Yeah, so these are if you, if you take the, the cattle to the train to sell them uh, as a rancher, gain one LP, legendary point, gain one gold nugget, gain $10 in one action. These things are pretty cool. So that's your reward. And the black one is a legendary token. Hmm. And of course, the first player marker, the sheriff. And that covers everything uh, except these. I will go over these. I will put them together and go over them. But for right now, the, without the expansions, this was the base game and everything in it. I'll bag everything up, but not at this very moment. But I, I'm happily impressed with just about everything I see. Just, just about everything I see. Sorry to, sorry to keep fetching about this, but that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Life isn't all lovely thorns and singing vultures, you know. All right, my friends. That was Western Legends Kickstarter Edition. Back a copy just came in. I'm your buddy Big John G. Two Gun Pixie presents the Legendary Gaming. Thank you for checking us out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And of course, thank you so much. Thank you so much for following us, liking us, subscribing, commenting on our videos here on YouTube, and sharing our videos. Thank you so much, my friends. I hope everyone has a great night, a great day, and of course, may all your games. Be legendary games. Ah, yeah. All right, hold on a second before anyone goes away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I made a big mistake here. I'm sorry, your buddy Big Giant G. Must apologize. I was so happy to get everything and see everything and unpack everything and show everything off that I didn't realize. Hello there, Mojo. 27 Mutts just walked in. Hey, Moxie. <laughs> I did not realize that uh, I missed the cards. Uh, these are the character cards, the, the story cards, uh, the legendary cards, the item cards. Uh, and I missed these. And I should have known I missed them because I saw this in the, in the, in the notes to the backers on Kickstarter uh, that they were packed... They were packed inside, uh, underneath the tray. Now, a after unboxing this, and as, as you just saw, I'm not quite sure I understand why there was more than enough reason, uh, I mean, more than enough room to, well, put them in here. But anyway, before we go, you want to see the cards, you want to see the characters that are options to play. So why don't we take a look and see what we got going here. Right in the top, we see Miss Annie Oakley. Let's see. Got a good focus 
for you. Annie Oakley. At the start of a fight with another player, that player must discard one poker card or gain a wound. I like right at the back of these cards. All have nice little historical notes about these about these real characters. So you got Annie Oakley. You got Bass Reeves. At the start of your turn, draw one poker card. Famous lawman. Billy the Kid. After you end a move action in a space with one or more players, a player of your choice in that space must give you $10 or one poker card. Bloody Knife. I'm not familiar with uh, Bloody Knife. Calamity Jane. Ah, Doc Holiday. Yeah. All right, you're a daisy, all right. I'm your Huckleberry. After you gain any number of wounds, draw one poker card. Wounds do not reduce your hand size. Doc Holiday. John Henry Holiday. All right, Jesse James. Kit Carson. Stagecoach Mary Fields. Wild Bill Hickok. Yeah, Dibs. <laughs> Wyatt Earp. First time you win a fight against a bandit each turn, gain one additional action. YB Rowdy. Uh, so these. This here, the Man in Black. Man in Black variation is a is a card AI controlled NPC. And each turn he gets to do something as determined by the deck, like place the Man in Black in the same space as a player with the most legendary points. The Man in Black fights that player. If the Man in Black wins, he gains two legendary points. If that player is wanted, they are also arrested. If the players are tied for the most LP, then the man in black gains one instead. So I'm not going to go over the rest of them, but these are all his deck. This is the things that he does. I like some of the earlier versions I saw where this was black with the white print. Sorry they didn't end up going for that. Maybe that would be a little bit too, uh, too more expensive. I don't know. But I thought that was thematically great when I saw that in some of the previews. Oh well, c'est la vie, mon ami, c'est la vie. And uh, let's see. Okay, so here are the story cards. Now this is this is a real driving force in the game. There are always two out at a time, and uh, two to four players, or five to six is how many can try to claim this. So end your turn at a location outside of town. Gain two or more LP from a single action. And one, once those are completed, then it gets flipped over and you get to see your reward. But it's also going to spawn bandits somewhere in, in town, so be careful. So that was all those cards. Very cool. We, uh, we got some more story cards here. There we go. Of course, now the dogs don't want to be in here. Well, too bad. You guys are just going to have to wait it through. Wait it out. Come on. There we go. Nope, I thought that was it. It wasn't. There we go. All of the, nope. Still no. Still no. We have the worst luck taking these things off. All right. Yes, you could. See that, did you? All right, so more story cards here. Spend $80 or more in town with a single action. Big spender. All right, so these are your action cards your, and your poker cards. And uh, you use them, from what I could tell during the game, uh, for encounters, for fights, for actually playing poker, or if, you know, for, for doing actions. Uh, Ace, if you play this, you gain a Marshal point or a Wanted point right away. You can't have both. You can only be one a Marshal or a Wanted man. See, that's only a two. It's not going to be very good uh, to use in combat. 
But you can use this to move to any town space. Boom, just saddle up, go to town. Payday, just gain 30 bucks. Yeah, okay, here's some money. Fool's gold is considered a gold nugget for all actions and effects. They can only hold a certain amount, I think like four, three or four. So these are all, there we go. There we go. And you know, I wanted to take a look at this. Uh, well, hold on, you know, I wanted to go, uh, let me go back here. Okay, so these are these are uh, story. I guess the rest of them are over here. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to put that over there for the moment. Then. Anything else? Items. All right. So you got items that you're going to be able to buy in town, and uh, they see they're upgradable. Yeah. So you start off with a shotgun. 30 bucks, you can upgrade it. Normally, after you win a fight, you get to draw a poker card. If you spend $30 to upgrade the shotgun, then you get Mercy, gives you a legendary point. And after cards are revealed in a fight, decrease the value of a card played against you by one. After you win a fight, draw one poker card. So I got these upside down. Mule, Clyde. Mustang, Buckshot, Pilgrim. Well, they do have different last names. Uh, I mean, different names usually a Poncho. Revolver to Amigo, Justice, Rifle, Shotgun, Bow Whoop. <laughs> okay, and you had some item cards here. Well, these cards, they. Quality feels good on the cards, all linen finished. So these are all things that are going to be put in the general store. They can't be upgraded, they're just normal common items. Ah, so, so common, ah. Okay, so I was holding this, but the rest of them are over here. And these, uh, these, these are the individual gold cards, and they are based upon the, the historic figures. So they each have their own deck. I always like that. Let's take this. I want to take a look at the money. That's good. I like, I like the way they did the money. Let's, we got another stack over there. Why don't we just hold on? So yeah, Annie Oakley. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There's four for each. Discard one provisions at Redfall Saloon uh, to complete this goal. Discard one poker card. After winning a game of poker at the Red Falls Saloon to complete this goal. So they're all going to have their own choices. Take Wyatt Earps, discard one poker card after winning a game of poker at the Red Falls Saloon to complete this goal. Uh, some of them sound a little siller, uh, similar. Siller? What's that? I don't know, John. I don't know. So this is... I like these. Instead of using, you know, paper like, like, like Monopoly does... This is much better, much better way to do the money. And the last one, is this all more money? Ha ha, oh, in Mexico, <laughs> not with this. Okay, last bunch. Yeah, so they're all, yep, this is all money. So there's more, more tens. Come on, all of you now. Let's see, there's more tens. 20s. In case you want a close up, there you go. And uh, it's the same either. Oh, not really. This, oh, yeah, it's the same. It's the same either way. 20s. Oh, and I think this is the, uh, the, the fight deck that you draw from if you're fighting bandits or the sheriff. I think that's what that is. Oh yeah, that's the rest of it. That's the cards. Sorry I missed out on that, but I made sure I uh, put that up here now for everyone. So once again, I'm your buddy, Big John G. Two Gun Pixie Presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, as you know, I am...
I'm out of here.